Hi everyone, it's Debbie Mirza, the author of the Covert Passive Aggressive Narcissist book. And today I want to talk to you about the word disorder. So this video was prompted by a comment I got on YouTube that I promptly deleted. <laughs> I want you to know I'm very protective of you when I try and catch these. I probably don't catch all of them, but I really appreciate all your comments and I love that you guys interact with each other and encourage each other and help each other. It's a beautiful thing. And I want this space to be a safe place for you to come and do that. So I try and delete anyone's comments that might affect you in a negative way or discourage you or just people who are saying stupid stuff that you don't need to hear. <laughs> so, um, this guy commented and said that I was being really hard on narcissists because this is a disorder, you know, basically implying and saying that they're helpless and they can't, you know, they can't help how they act because it's a disorder. So that could not be further from the truth. And I want to make sure you know that. And because often, you know, with these people, we end up excusing a lot of their behaviors because they're covert and they present, you know, an image that we buy into and an illusion that isn't true. And so oftentimes we can be taken in. And then when, especially if they're covert in the way where they're kind of a, a poor me, helpless victim type of, of narcissist, um, that can really play on your heart too. And you can feel like, well, gosh, they had all this difficult things in their childhood and no wonder they, you know, control and manipulate and devalue me. You know, I, I want to help them. I want to save them that, that codependent type thing. And so I really want you to remind you, we all know this, but it's a good reminder that we all have free will. And no matter what we've been through, we all have a choice whether to be kind or whether to be cruel we all have a choice as to how we view the world and view other people. We also have a choice on who we let into our lives and who we don't. And so even if you believe these people are helpless, I'd encourage you to ask yourself, okay, but let's think of, are you being drained around them? Do you feel devalued? Do you feel highly insecure around them and never good enough? So these are signs to back away, you know, just because someone has a disorder doesn't mean that you need to subject yourself to that type of treatment. You deserve way better than that. You are worthy of love, unconditional love. You are worthy of kindness and respect and understanding. So surround yourself with people that do that. And know that just because someone has a disorder, uh, has been labeled that way, it doesn't mean that they're helpless and a complete victim. They have free will, and if they want, they can seek out help. They can recognize things in themselves and find a different way to live. So I hope that helps encourage you. If it does ever enter your head like, oh, you know, I can't blame them. They've been through all this, and no wonder this and that. They do have free will. There are people who have been through extraordinary circumstances and are still kind people. So I hope that helps. And I'm sending you so much love today. Talk to you soon.